The state of California may pull the license of a doctor that Call Curtis started investigating nearly two years ago. Curtis is here now with the investigation that was filed against her. Well, we first told you about Dr. Glenda Goodwin in July of 2011 when one of her patients struggled getting her own medical records. This new accusation says failing to hand over those records was just one of several violations in our viewer's case. I think her license needs to be pulled. Absolutely. Stephanie Small reacting to this accusation filed against her former OBGYN, Dr. Glenda Goodwin, accusing her of negligence. Goodwin is seen here in YouTube video. Make sure that you're following up with your doctor. When we first met Stephanie in 2011, she was suffering from endometriosis and waiting for surgery. It's pretty painful. It's um, pelvic pain and pain down my leg. Stephanie says following a previous surgery performed by Goodwin, the doctor suddenly stopped treating her and cut off communication. I wasn't successful in reaching her via phone, email, and not even going to her office. So at that time, I didn't know what to do. And she says she couldn't get her neck surgery without her medical records from Goodwin. Under state law, doctors have 15 days to comply with a patient's request for their records. Stephanie filed a complaint with the Medical Board of California and eventually did get her records. Dr. Goodwin was hit with $750 in fines, but now faces more serious charges. She's accused of what's called gross negligence and multiple counts of gross negligence. In this accusation, the board alleges Goodwin failed to adequately treat Stephanie, kept sloppy records, and then abandoned her. Not only did they not help me find treatment, they didn't refer me to anybody either. And it was basically... We don't want to have anything else to do with you, so please leave. If Goodwin contests the charges, she'll get a hearing before an administrative law judge who will recommend what, if any, penalty she should face. She could lose her license. She could be suspended. And Stephanie, still ailing from her endometriosis, may be called to testify at the hearing. I'm happy that we're at this point. I just hope that the final result will end in something that, that is considered justice. Well, Dr. Goodwin did not reply to our request for a comment or interview. She's listed as the OBGYN for Trinity Total Healthcare, which used to be in Elk Grove, but their voicemail says they have recently moved to El Dorado Hills. So the next step here is a hearing? Yeah, it, she could contest these charges. If she does, then she has a right to a hearing, which is kind of like a trial. An administrative law judge will then make a decision, and then the medical board could either adopt that decision, they could be more strict on the punishment, they could be lighter on the punishment, but ultimately mm -hmm. the medical board will have the final well, say. There's a lot of layers that. in this, it sounds like. Yes, there mm -hmm. certainly is, but 15 days. If you want your medical records, you should get them within 15 days of requesting them. Good to know. If you have a consumer problem you can't resolve, maybe we can. You can call our hotline Monday through Friday at 916-374-1343, or you could always go to our website, cbssacramento.com, click on Call Curtis, and fill out our form.